lovelies and welcome back. Well today we are battling these two beauties. We have the Chanel Mini Rectangle and the YSL Mini Lulu and it is the battle of the bag so stay tuned. Well hi everybody and welcome back. It is lovely to have you all back here today and this was a request video today by the beautiful Jamel Sydney. Hi Jamel, how are you? And today we are battling it out between the beautiful YSL Toy Lulu and the noisy uh, Chanel Rectangle Mini. Now, these two beauties are exactly that, stunners, beauties. Jamel asked me if I would do a review on both of these bags, do a comparison as to what fits, do the overview of both of them, size, durability, versatility, the whole lot, and wait till the end because I'm gonna do some mod shots and show you what they're like on. Let's start with an overview of both bags. Well, as you can see, they are both black and they are both leather and they are both mini. They are stunners, these two bags. And actually, I'm delighted Jamel asked me for this because I probably wouldn't have thought about doing this one myself. So I think this is gonna be useful to a lot of people out there. We will start with the dimensions of the bag. Well, first of all, we have the lambskin, the Chanel mini rectangle in the lambskin. I don't have the square as yet. It's a beautiful bag, but the square is quite short on me, even though I love that bag, but I'm trying to work my way around that. So the dimensions of the mini rectangle are, it is 7.9 inches, in length here then it is 2.4 inches in depth and 4.7 inches in height the dimensions of the YSL mini Lou on the other hand are 7.8 inches in length so the mini rectangle slightly longer 5.5 in height slightly taller and 2.9 in depth so it is slightly deeper and a wider bag as you can see from the mini rectangle now i'll just hold the two of them up side by side so you can actually see this one the rectangle is slightly longer and this one is slightly taller i think this one would be quite like actually quite comparable to the um the square in the chanel so if i ever get that bag i will do a comparison also there but i think there you go uh, you can see the difference in both bags and the width there between the difference and the height i'm going to just show you the height difference definitely the ysl lulu is a lot taller there and it is thicker so that's how they look side by side um the strain chain strap on the rectangle is as you know is not detachable and it is not adjustable it is a beauty of a strap but it's neither of the above is it versatile yes this bag can take you from day to evening go for lunch go for dinner really really good that way and the price of this little expensive beauty on the last price increase she was 3,800 euro compared to the price of the YSL toy Lulu which is 995 euro. This bag is amazing, amazing value, I have to say. She really is. This one is made from calf skin, as I said, and this one is made from lamb skin. So therefore, obviously the Chanel Mini Rectangle is not going to be as durable as the YSL Toy Lulu for running around day to day. The lamb skin, you definitely have to be a little bit more careful of with nails, buttons, things like that, keys particularly, so that's why a lot of us have all our key pouches and key holders and things like that. Definitely you have to be a little bit more careful of the lambskin. Now, you know, I haven't had any problems yet, but I haven't used this a whole lot. I do love the lambskin. It wouldn't stop me buying the lambskin, I have to admit, but I am glad I have this in the calf skin and I just don't have to worry at all. Like I would take this one out in the rain, absolutely no problem whatsoever, particularly because I have it in the matte, gold hardware well actually that's shiny gold hardware i think the newer one now is matte this is shiny gold hardware this one in the lambskin no i would not take her out in the rain if i was caught in the rain i would try and protect her in some way look at even you know with a leather jacket it can get ruined in in the rain so i wouldn't recommend that now at all on the inside of the toy lulu you have the compartments and it has the cross grain lining inside so it is material lining. It has your center, one flat uh, center pocket. It has a zipped pocket in at the back here where I have the little 
authenticity card inside. Let me just pull her out. Here she goes, that's the little authenticity card in at the back. And she has your one, two, and in the front then also there is another little slip pocket here in the front and your three card slots here at the back. So it is, you know, really good. I showed you the one zippered pocket there at the back as well and it has a magnetic snap button. And I really do like, I have to say, the compartments in this bag and you can't see them from the outside. That's what some people actually give out about, say like with the Bichette Matisse or any accordion style bag, the Trendy CC. A lot of people don't like the accordion style if it's compartmentalized. This is compartmentalized on the inside, but it's just one big, you know, um, I was gonna say square, but it's more rectangle on the outside. There's no accordion kind of compartments showing that, but it is very handy and it does hold a lot. I'm going to do a what fits and its capacity now in a sec. And so versatility, this this bag can absolutely take you from day to evening as the strap is removable and adjustable. So, I mean, there is, let me see, one, two, three little different size holes there. Plus, you can take off this little piece, as I've told you before, and use it as a little wristlet. You don't need the rest of it on here. So, and you can just completely take it off, use it as a clutch bag. That is the difference between herself and herself here, where obviously this chain is not detachable, is not adjustable. The strap length or the strap drop on this one is 22 inches. A lot of people find that quite long. I'm five foot nine, 175 centimeters. So it suits me perfectly and I'll do that in the mod shots in a sec. But a lot of people just find it too long and therefore go, go for the square or just do the adjust, adjustments and shorten the strap by either wrap, wrapping it underneath as you could, I'm sure you've seen on lots and lots of videos, you can just wrap it underneath there and that makes it shorter and off you go. Or you can get your little chain clips now, which you can get anywhere. You can get them on Amazon, any websites that provide little straps and things like that. So that is the difference in those two straps. On the inside of the mini rectangle, I don't have my Zoom only organizer, as I just said. So inside you get a good look now, it is the leather lined all the way inside and then it has your one interior zip pocket here that you can just open and close as you wish and inside should be my authenticity card or else it's just in the box inside it's in the box that is the inside just one big open square with a single flap and then you have your beautiful obviously CC turn lock, which I just love in this bag. She is a real beauty. She has the edge stitching here. And some people don't realize that not all the mini rectangulars come with the edge stitching. If you even have a bag and you wanna take a look at it, some of the minis, whether they be square or rectangle, have this edge stitching and some of them don't. I love this on the chevron. I think it really finishes it off beautifully. And on the back, of course, I have the Mona Lisa little pocket where you can put in your little parking slips or whatever you might want to use it for. I don't really use it for anything, but she is a little beauty. But price-wise, I mean, 3,800 euro compared to 900 and 95 that is a difference of like 2800 euro between these two bags i mean that is a lot when you're talking about spondulies versatility wise obviously this can go from day to evening she can be dressed up dressed down she's just gorgeous durability wise i talked about that yes you've got to be definitely a lot more careful with this one. The only thing I will say is this one will probably stay around because she's such a timeless classic, a lot longer, I would think. Although the YSLs are getting better and better for staying around and they are, you know, a lot of them are quite classic because of the logo just seems to stay the same, which I love. But uh, if you're investing your money and you're thinking of selling down the road and you're, you know, trying to be strategic about your choices, the Chanel Mini is definitely one that's not going to lose value for you now, unless you don't mind your bags and it gets ruined or spilt or, you know, you're leaving it down somewhere where the corners are ruined. As you can see, this one is perfect. I just store it nicely and I look after it. So this one, as I said, will hold its value, whereas the Toy Lulu, um, probably not so much. You can get them on the secondhand market for a bit cheaper. Now, in saying that, I'm a real one for cost per wear. So if you're wearing this bag pretty much every day, and I have to say, 
I have been since I got this bag. I got it only about three months ago and cost per wear already is right down because of the amount of use I've had out of this bag. As you can see, there's no pocket on the back and with either bag, then I didn't show you the bottom. On the bottom here, neither bag have feet, but they're just beautiful. And as you can see, they both stand up absolutely no problem on their own. They don't fall over. The Toy Lulu doesn't fall over either. It stands up by itself. So which would I recommend? Well, you know, to be honest with you, I'll show you capacity in a minute and you can decide. It really depends on your use for the bag, on what you've already got in your wardrobe, what your lifestyle is. I always, always say this. And even a lot of people would ask, Viv, which would you recommend? And I love giving recommendations and I have no problem doing that. So so anytime you do send in, you know, you know, and ask for my advice, I will give it no problem. But just so you know, it's very, very hard to give advice when I don't know your uses for the bag, when I don't know what you already have, what kind of a wardrobe you have, what colors you like to wear. It's quite hard, but overall, I mean, value for money, this one, hands down. Absolutely, the YSL Toy Lulu is the value for money one. And investment wise, long term, you want a capsule wardrobe, you want to build your collection, you're in no hurry, kind of, you don't need an everyday run around bag. This is not an everyday run around bag. I certainly don't think so. Maybe some people use their minis as that. I mean, I would use it going for lunch or things like that, or but not like running up to the shop. I, I wouldn't really use it for that. So, Overall, as I said, now you can make up your mind once you see what fits, but overall value for money, I would say this one and long term and building a smaller, more capsule, maybe more minimalistic wardrobe where you don't want so many pieces, I would say the mini rectangular. That is my two cents worth. And now I'm going to show you what fits inside these two beauties. So my daily essentials pretty much are keys, phone, money but I mean your money is on your card now really but I want to show you how this little beauty the mini pochette fits inside the mini rectangle and it just fits absolutely no problem inside there as you can see so I have my lip glosses in there and you know how much the mini pochette can actually hold and fit so you've all your essentials whether it be you know hand sanitizer your mask, the whole lot inside. Then I'll always bring my little coin purse. Today I actually have or my clay, I have my key attached and I have my notes inside with coins as well. So that is going to go in. And there you have both of those little beauties. And then just for the hell of it, I'm going to also bring, just in case I go shopping and I need my little loyalty cards, I'm going to bring my YSL little card holder and I'm going to slot that in the middle there. There you can see. Now, if I wanted, I could stick in another lip gloss in the side, just so you can see. But look, there is absolutely no need for that, but I just want to show you because I have my pochette, uh, my mini pochette. So I'm just going to close her up and show you that that is absolutely no problem. You can see the little lip gloss there at the side and she just feels nice and sturdy. Off you go and she is going to carry that, no problem for you. Now, as I said, I just think that is a lovely amount of items to carry. And if you didn't want to carry this mini pochette, you could always carry something a little thinner. So we'll put that inside here. It's actually wider today because of the lip balm and things like that. So it kind of fits pretty much exactly the same as the mini pochette. And close her up again, and that's it. And off you go. So she is a little beauty and just carries, for me, that is all I carry these days. I don't need a bigger bag. And now I'm gonna take all those out. I'm going to do exactly the same with our lovely toy Lou. I will start with my mini pochette. And I'm gonna put her into the front there, like so. And then I'm going to go with my cards, my YSL card holder in the back there. And then my little clay from Louis Vuitton with my key attached and my coins and notes inside. I'll also put her in the back. And you can just see there in the back, all right. And then my little uh, lip gloss in the side. And that is herself. Now, as I said, you know this one is a bit taller. So you can see the lip gloss there is standing up, no problem and that is going to snap closed perfectly. 
and again she just feels lovely and sturdy and ready to go and compact but beautiful really nice and comfy to carry I have to say both of them that way because you know you just have all your items and nothing is you know gonna spill inside the bag or wreck the bag because you have your little your little pochette there so just to take that out and then of course as you know the little mini o case is going to fit no problem inside and if you want you could even throw your ear earbuds in there as well and throw them in front in your little round coin purse so I would say, I mean, you just saw they pretty much fit exactly the same. Because of the height of this one, I'd say she'd fit a tiny, tiny bit more because, well, you can just see the height there with the keys, even though the exactly the same amount uh, fit in the mini rectangle. But I did put this in in the end, and I would say that the mini Lou would just a fraction, I mean a lip gloss, that much more, not much, you know, and it's a, maybe you wouldn't worry as much, it'll maybe a tiny bit more durable, well actually it's a lot more durable than the mini rectangle, so you'd probably squash in a lot more and you wouldn't want to do that with this bag to damage the leather. So that is both bags, now I'm going to do some mod shots for you, and I hope you have enjoyed that and got some value out of it. I didn't say what perfume I was wearing today, fragrance of today is Baccarat Rouge 540. She's a little spicy and amber woody. I love this one. Love the saffron and the jasmine in her and she's just a little beaut, as I say. Love doing these videos with you guys because it just smells fabulous in here every time we do them. So that's it. Enjoy the mod shots. Be kind, be safe, be compassionate. Love you lots. Mwah. So really you ain't gonna hit me back, yeah. Now it's all just you got me on blast, yeah. You're over it, I've been done We're so toxic, can't get enough Ooh, oh, go and say it like a mantra You know what you want, do ya? Oh, hell no, I won't play the monster No matter what you tell yourself I should have known that we could we could never be friends I hear you just thought we could 